Okay, again, uh, trigonometric ratio of special angles. And tapos na tayo dun sa 45, 45, 90. And punta naman tayo sa 30, 60, 90. So, what is a 30, 60, 90 triangle? So, yung 30, 60, 90 triangle, ito yung figure natin. So, this one is 90. Then 60, the other angle is 60, and the other uh, 30. So a 30-60-90 triangle is a special right triangle whose angles are 30, so yun, 60, and 90. 60-90. A special triangle, uh, the triangle is special because its side lengths are always in the ratio of 1, square root of 3, and 2. So, paano ba yan? Uh, explain natin ng mas maliwanag uh, o mas maintindihan natin yan sa pagpapatuloy nito. Ayan. Makikita natin dito sa figure, uh, one side of the right triangle is x and the other side is x square root of 3 and the longest side is 2x. Now, kung makikita natin yung opposite side ng angle na 60, ay x square root of 3 at yung smallest natin na angle na 30 ay x so dito, ito yung ratio nya 1 is 2 square root of 3 is to 2 yung smallest side is 1 and the second uh, largest side is square root of 3 and the longest side is 2 now 1x is 2, square root of 3x is to 2x. It means 1 leg, square root of leg, and 2 leg. Mumultiply natin yun. So, yan yung ratio nya. Ngayon, any triangle of the form 30, 60, 90 can be solved without applying long step methods such as the Pythagorean theorem and the trigonometric function. So, The easiest way to remember the ratio is 1 is 2 square root of 3 is to 2 is to memorize the numbers 1, 2, 3. One precaution to using this mnemonic is to remember that 3 is under the square root sign. Ngayon, yung 3 yung tatandaan lang natin is naka square root siya. Okay, again, yung image niyan, so from the illustration on the left side, we can make the following observation about the 30-60-90 triangle. Now, the shorter leg, which is opposite to the 30 degrees angle, is labeled as X. So, itong 30, yun yung opposite niya, is X ang alagay natin dyan. Then, the hypotenuse, which is opposite to the 90 degree angle, is twice the shorter leg length. So, makikita, ito yung hypotenuse natin, longest side, is 2X. Twice the shorter leg. Yan. Next, the longer leg, ito yung longer leg, mas mataas o mas malaki dun sa X natin sa other side. Which is the opposite of 60. Okay, tama. Opposite siya. Is equal to the shorter leg, product, and the square root of 3. So, yung X natin, uh, product siya ng X square root of 3. So, kaya ganyan yung ayos ng ating right triangle. At yan yung tatandaan natin na ratio dito sa 30-60-90 triangle to solve those uh, values upside. Now, solving problem involving 30-60-90 triangles, you always know, know one side from which you can determine the other sides. For that, you can multiply or divide that side by an appropriate factor. Okay, uh, you can summarize the different scenarios as, oh, ito yung unang scenario. When the shorter uh, side is known, you can find the longer side by multiplying the shorter side by square root of 3. After that, you can apply Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Uh, in this case, siguro ano yung Pythagorean theorem, uh, I mean, not siguro. Yung Pythagorean theorem, pag ginamit na natin siya, is just to check na lang kung, kung tama yung ating ginawang process dito. Na yung, you can find the longer side by multiplying the short, shorter side by square root of 3. Yun. Paghahanapin natin yung 
uh, longer side o yung mas mataas dun sa shorter side. And may explain natin yan dun sa mga example natin gagawin mamaya. Next, when the longer side is known, you can find the shorter side by dividing the longer side by the square root of 3. After that, you can apply Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Okay, tama. So, again, um, example tayo mamaya at uh, maunawaan natin yan. Then, pangatlo, when the shorter side is known, you can find the hypotenuse by multiplying the shorter side by 2. Oo, kasi halimbawa, example na natin, kung, kung 3 yung ating shorter side, dahil 2x yung ratio ng ating hypotenuse, so it means uh, 2 times 3 siya, 6 yung ating hypotenuse. So, example naman natin yan sila mamaya. When the hypotenuse is known, you can find the shorter side by dividing the hypotenuse by 2. After that, you can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the longer side. Okay? So, this means that the shorter side acts as a gateway between the other two sides of a right triangle. You can find the longer side when the hypotenuse is given or vice versa. But you always have to find the shorter side. First, kasi siya yung x. Kasi ang ratio is x square root of 3, x, and 2x. So, 1, 2, 3. But remember always that the 3 is having a square root. Now, so ito yon yung figure natin na para mas mabilis natin o yung mnemonic natin na ano, na 1, 2, 3, but the 3 have a, uh, meron itong square root. Okay, ito yung x, opposite yung 30, tandaan natin, and yung 60 is square root of x. Okay, then hypotenuse is 2 times x. Ha? 2x, x, uh, square root of 3x, square root of 3, multiply by x, then 2 times x. Since the 30-60 triangle is a right triangle, then the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared is also applicable to the triangle. Kaya yung sinasabi kanina na uh, otherwise you can use Pythagorean theorem to find the remaining uh, unknown side. For instance, we can prove that the hypotenuse of the triangle is 2x as follows. So tara, solve natin, uh, ipuprove natin ngayon na ito ay ganyan yung value niya using Pythagorean theorem. So, ito, andito na tayo ngayon at uh, isosolve natin ngayon yun. Then, ito yung Pythagorean theorem natin. So, yung C is the longest side, the shorter side yung X and the longer side o yung mas mataas dito is X times square root of 3 square. So, kasi yung ating uh, di ba yung ating Pythagorean ay ganito siya ah, uh, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So, kinonsider lang natin na this is the longest side, yes. And A is the shorter side. Exponent natin yan to. And the X multiplied by square root of 3 is the longer side of the B square. Then, para mapatunayan natin na ganyan yan, so, solve natin ito. So, solve natin dito. Yung c square is equal to x square. Then, ito, pag in-exponent natin tong x and square root of 3, so, meron tayo dito plus 3x square. Bakit? Kasi yung x is square natin and square root of 3, makakancel lang natin yung square root and the square. So, ngayon, meron tayong c is equal to, add natin ito since like term sila, x squared plus 3x square is 4x square. Now, sorry, lagyan natin to dahil may exponent yan to. Now, in this case, kailangan uh, yung value lang nung siyang ating makuha. So, si square yan, kailangan mas square root natin yan to eliminate the exponent of 2. And, syempre, pati itong nasa kanan natin na 4x 4x raised to 2. So, dito, makakancel natin to Kaya, magtitira sa atin dito is c is equal to, yan, square root ng 4 is 2. Then, square root ng x raised to 2. So, kakancelin lang natin yan sa so, high square root. So, 2x. So, that's why, yung ating longest side, ang value niya dito ay 2x. So, makikita natin na 2 times x siya yung ating longest side. Itong c natin. 
at kung ito namang ating uh, square root of 3x ang ating hahanapin o patunayan natin dito na yung longer side natin is uh, square root of 3x ngayon kunin lang din natin yung Pythagorean na dito sa Pythagorean yung c square so c square is equal to a square plus b square now ang ano yun natin yung longer side so let's say dito b square now is equal to c square minus a square so yung b square natin is equal to a, a ah, c square so ito yung 2x b square natin to minus itong a square natin yung x square so yan na ngayon dito ang mm, mangyayari dito is 4 x square minus x square. Ngayon na matitira sa atin dito dahil si b square nga, mm, sulat lang natin, dapat equal siya sa uh, square root of 3 times x or x square root of 3. Ito, uh, ma-minus natin for x square minus x square is 3x square. Tama? So again, kunin natin square root ng both side. So, cancel na yun. Cancel yung 2. So, matitira sa atin is B is equal to So, yung 3 natin kailangan naka-square root siya kasi hindi siya perfect square. But, yung X, since exponent niya ito, makakancel lang natin yung exponent na 2 and the square root sign. So, magiging X natin ito dito. Kaya, square root of 3 times X. Or, simply, pag sinulat natin yan, uh, tuloy natin dito sa taas. Uh, yung b natin is equal ngayon sa x square root of 3. Ito na siya. Kaya, yun din yung ating value. Okay, so maniwanag na sa atin yan ngayon. Kaya, uh, gawin natin mag-example naman tayo. Finding the side lengths in the 30-60-90 triangle. So, example tayo. Find the values of s and t. So, andito yung figure. And, isolve natin yan. So, before natin solve, kung makikita natin na yung opposite na side ng 60 degrees I5, ito yung longer side. And the shorter side is S is the unknown, uh, by the way, unknown and the longest side. Or the hypotenuse. Kaya, mayroon tayong given. So, ito yung process kung paano natin siya isosolve. Okay, dito sa find the values of S and T. Uh, when the longer side is known, you can find the shorter side by dividing the longer side by the square root of 3. So, paano yan? So, and then after that, you can apply the Pythagorean theorem to the find, ah, theorem to find the hypotenuse. So, start tayo dito. Uh, yung ating 5 is equal to square root of 3 times uh, S. Ito yung ating shorter S. Hindi na natin siya gagawing X kasi may variable dito na na S. So, in this case, uh, kailangan divide natin siya both side ng square root of 3. Gaya nung sinasabi nung instruction natin doon. Square root of 3. Bakit? Kasi, nang matira dito sa left side natin, yung S. So, dito, meron na tayong 5 square root of 3. So, meaning, ito na yung ating value ng S. But, uh, as you can see, meron tayong square root or radical sign in, in the denominator. Kailangan mawala yan. So, gagawin natin, magra-rationalize tayo. Magmumultiply tayo ng square root of 3. Square root of 3 on both side. So, ngayon, yung sagot natin dito, pag nag-rationalize na tayo, yung S na natin, so 5 times square root of 3 is 5 square root of 3. And square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. So, ano pa yung square root ng 9? So, ang square root ng 9 ay 3. Ito yung value natin ng S. Yan. So, sabi ngayon, yung ating daw longest side, I, after that, you can find the, uh, and apply, I mean, you can find, you can apply the chore, Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. So, hati natin sa dalawang, uh, may papakita ko sa dalawang bahagi ng solution. Uh, pag ginamit natin si Pythagorean theorem, so ganito yung ating magiging uh, solution. So, since si natin is unknown, so dito, yan yon. 
and yung ating uh, S, ang ating sagot ay, uh, kunin muna natin yung 5 over square root of 3, yung hindi pa natin na-rationalize. Then, uh, plus 25 tayo dito. Ah, sorry. Not 25. 5 pa lang tayo dito. Exponent natin ng 2. Ngayon, dito, so ito magiging 25 over 3. Kasi, kakansin na natin square root o yung radical sign. Kasi meron siyang square root. Ah, meron siyang square, I mean. Then, plus 25. Pag sinimplify natin to 5 times 5, kaya 25. Ngayon, meron na tayong C square. So, uh, simplify natin, add lang natin to magkakaroon tayo ng 100 over mm, 3. Then, ito yung C square natin. Kasi, yan na. Okay, so 25, ah, 75 plus 25 over 3. Tama. Then, pag in square root natin to to eliminate the, uh, the exponent ng 2 sa C, so makakancel yan. Ito, mangyayari ngayon is C is equal to square root of 100 is 10 over square root of 3. So again, kailangan natin itong irrationalize by multiplying both side by square root of 3. So again, ito, 10 times square root of 3 is equal to 10 square root of 3 over 3 times 3 is 9, square root ng 9 is 3. So ito yung magiging sagot natin na value ng C. Nakuha na natin using Pythagorean. But, dito sa kabilang bahagi natin, pwede natin makuha yung hypotenuse ng mas mabilis. Bakit? Kasi alam natin na yung hypotenuse is 2 times x o the shorter side. Equal siya. Or, yan ay x. Ah, I mean s. Kasi s is the shorter dun sa base sa given natin. So, kung ganyan yan, 2 times, ano ba yung ating value ng s? Diba, ang value ng, ng s natin is 5 square root of 3 over 3. Ito yun. Hmm. O oh, meaning, hindi mo multiply lang natin siya. Ito yung hinahanap natin. Uh, siya yung t. So, multiply natin 2 times 5. So, 10 square root of 3 over 3. Ito na yung ating sagot. As the value of t. Yan. So, ganun lang siya. I-solve o i-compute. Um, bala kayo. O oh, I mean, nasa sa inyo kung anong proseso yung inyong gagamitin. Pwede uh, kung nadadalian kayo using Pythagorean, gamitin natin to nasa left side natin. At kung mas madali naman ito, gamitin natin to sa right side. Nasa inyo lang kung saan kayo mas uh, mapapabilis o at syempre, tama pa rin yung sagot natin. Next problem natin, uh, find the value of x and z in the diagram below. <clears throat> so, as you can see in the diagram on the figure, the opposite of the... Shorter ang shorter angle is 8 inches. And nahanap natin yung longer side and the uh, longest side. Okay, solve natin. So, yun na. Uh, find the value of x and z in the diagram below. Uh, sorry, hindi na siya below kasi andito na siya sa left side. So, when the shorter side is known. So, shorter, ano yun? 8 inches. Given, I mean. You can find the longer side, longer side by multiplying the shorter side. By the square root of 3. After that, you can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Okay. Ganto na yung gagawin natin. Mumultiply natin yung 8 inches dun sa square root of 3. Kasi, di ba, yung ating uh, longer side ay square root of 3 times x. And in this case, yung ating shorter side, ito yung x, yung shorter sides, I'm given 8 inches. So, ang gagawin lang natin, ay para makuha natin si y so si x ay 8 inches mumultiply natin sa square root of 3 kaya makukuha natin agad si y na 8 square root of 3 yan, ganun lang kadali ngayon, sabi na naman otherwise uh, pwede daw nating makuha yung value ng Longest side natin o yung hypotenuse using ng Pythagorean theorem. So, gamitin natin yung Pythagorean theorem. Ngayon, uh, dito natin solve. 
Yan. Yung Z square natin, kasi yun yung longest side. And yung ating 8 inches square natin plus yung Y natin is 8 square root of 3 square. So, C square, 8, so 64 yan, plus, so 8, plus, i-exponent lang natin yan ng 2, so 64, then times 3. Kasi, ano na siya, 9, then square root of 3, ay, square root of 9 is 3, kaya, yan yung mangyayari sa atin. Ngayon, dito, 64 plus 64, Ah, sorry. 64 times 3 muna tayo. So, may sagot tayo dito na 64 plus 192. Pag inad natin yan, ang sagot natin ay 256. So, ito yun. Kaya, ngayon, gawin natin, square root natin both side. Cancel na yan. So, Z is equal to, syempre, square root ng ating 256. Ang sagot natin ay, dito ay 16. So, ito yung value ng ating longest side o hypotenuse. Using Pythagorean theorem. But, Dito sa kanan, so solve natin again, since yung again, na uh, yung longest side natin, yung hypotenuse, is 2 times the value of shorter side. So, meaning, si Z is equal to 2 times, ano ba yung ating longest side? Ah, I mean, shorter side. So, 8 siya, ba So, 8. So, yan lang. Z is equal to 2 times 8, 16. So, therefore, 16 yung ating sagot. So, mamimili ka lang kung alin yung mas uh, mabilis para sa iyo. Namukha natin yung sagot. Yung using Pythagorean ba? O ito, o using natin itong uh, ratio natin na x is to is, is x is square root of 3 is to 2x. Yan. Okay, isa pa tayong example. Ito, ah uh, Yan. If one angle of a right triangle is 30 degrees and the shorter, shortest sides measure is 7 meter, what is the measure of the remaining two sides? So, same situation nung problem natin kanina. Uh, nagbago lang yung ating measure na naging 7. So, try natin isolve. Yan. So, dahil same lang din siya kanina, so, ito, i-apply natin ito. Itong sinasabi na, when the shorter is known, you can find the longer side by multiplying shorter side by the square root of 3. Okay, so dito tayo again. Dito. So, yung ating y is equal to so 7 times natin dun sa square root of 3. So, magiging sagot natin is, sorry. 7 square root of 3. Ito na yung value ng ating y. At again, uh, solve natin yung ano. So, ganun na lang siya kadali. Ano? Solve natin ngayon dito sa Pythagorean uh, theorem naman. Yung ating susundin dito. So, again, so, ang hanapin natin na z z square is equal to so, 7 square plus 7 square root of 3 exponent natin na 2 so equals tayo sa 49 plus 49 times 3 so equals natin yan 49 muna tayo times 3 49 plus 147 yung sagot natin Send 147 plus 49 Equals tayo sa 196. And square root natin, both side. Cancel na yun. So, Z natin is equal to... Siyempre, 14. Then, dito, 
Uh, the resolution natin to find the longest side or the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times uh, x. And that x is the value of ito. Value yan ng uh, 7. So, ngayon dito, 2 times 7 tayo. So, na, na, sorry. So, z is equal to 14. Pareho tayo ng sagot. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Um, again, dito, Pythagorean, ito naman yung ating 2x as the uh, ratio of the longest side or the hypotenuse. Yan, isa pa tayong example. So, okay, in this case, uh, in right triangle, the hypotenuse is 12 cm and the smaller angle is 30 degrees. Find the length of the long and short leg. Yan. Ito, iba na. Uh, hinahanap natin yung dalawang side, yung shorter at saka yung longer side. At ang given lang natin yung hypotenuse o the longest side. Solve natin. Yan. So, ito yung problem natin. Ito. So, 12 cm given ang hypotenuse. So, in this case, when the hypotenuse is known o given, you can find the shorter side by dividing the hypotenuse by 2. Didivide lang daw natin by 2. Para mahanap natin yung shorter side. After that, you can apply Pythagorean theorem to find the longer side. Para mahanap naman natin yung y, pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem. Now, uh, simulan natin. So, since sabi niya, to find the shorter side doon, uh, so, 12 tayo, didivide natin yung 12 by 2 to get the uh, shorter side. And, makukuha natin yung shorter side, yung 12 by 2 by, I mean, 12 divide 2 is 6. Ito na yung value natin ng shorter side. Okay, yung, yung question mark natin, ito na yung value. Ngayon, para naman makuha natin yung yung ating para makuha natin yung ating para makuha natin yung longer side. So pwede na raw natin gamitin yung ano uh, na. Pwede nating gamitin yung ating uh, Pythagorean theorem. So yung Pythagorean theorem natin dito uh, C square is equal to a square plus b square. So, hinahanap natin muna dito ay ang ating y. So, meron tayong c square minus uh, let's say a square. Okay. Uh, I'm mean, sorry. May square tayo. So, y square is equal to, ano ba yung c square natin? 12. 12 square minus uh, yung a natin, a po yan ang value niya ay 6. 6 square. So, ngayon, 144 minus 36 tayo. Y square. Then, Y square is equal to 108. Minus natin to. So, square root natin. Square root natin. So, Y is equal to uh, okay, uh, square root of 108 or makuha natin yan na 6 square root of 3. 6 square root of 3. Ito yung magiging sagot natin dyan. 6 square root of 3. Kasi ano yan eh. Uh, 36 by 3. 36 times 3 is 108. So, yung 36 natin perfect square. Kaya 6 then square root of 3 na. Ngayon, dito naman. Kaya malalaman natin kung pareho tayo ng sagot. Dito, uh, pwede na natin isolve. Makuha yung longer side natin. Kasi, uh, yung y natin, yung y natin is equal siya sa square root of 3 times uh, x. At yung x natin dito, ang value natin, o yung dito, yung question mark natin, ang value nyan ay 6. So now, yung y natin, mumultiply lang natin yung square root of 3 times natin sa 6. Kaya mangyayari, sagot natin dito is 6 square root of 3. So, pareho pa rin tayo ng sagot dun sa ating yung, uh, ginamit na Pythagorean theorem na 6 square root of 3 as the value of y. So, meaning, ito ay sagot natin at saka ito. Ayan. Ganun lang yung pagkuha natin o paraan ng pagsasagot. At, 
again, ay uh, ulitin ko lang kung medyo malabo o naguluhan o hindi na masyado na sundan, pwede lang po natin ulitin yung pananood sa video. And pwede naman natin i-post and try din natin i-solve natin kung tama ba. Uh, yun lang uh, at maraming salamat. Then, yung ating ginawang tutorial na to ngayon ay abot sa abot ng ating kaalaman at kakayanan. Uh, maraming salamat.